Hello, but this is X Star Codex here. Welcome back to another Yu Gi Oh video today. Today, we're going to be uh, opening the 2018 Christmas Yu Gi Oh Advent Calendar. Now, as you can see, this thing is humongous. So, I think my light might be flashing. <laughs> so, what we're going to do, we're going to open it in re reverse order, start with 24, bye back to number one, and then I will get back to you and we will go through. The cards individually together. So the first color you see will be uh, the first, and the last color you see will be the 21st, 24th even. Okay, see you in a minute. Okay, so we have managed to finally open all the doors and get the cards out. So here they are, the 24 cards, and we're going to go through them now and have a look at each one. Okay, so the first card we got on December the 1st was the Ceremonial Bell Super Rare. In case you don't know what this does, uh, both big players must keep their hands revealed. So it's not a bad card, and it's quite a good one. And of course, most of these cards um, have a theme around Christmas as well. So that's December the first, ceremonial bell. December the second, we got a box of friends, and this one has the effect: if this card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon. Uh, from your deck, two normal monsters. Sorry, he's in the way. Uh, with different names, whose attack and defense is attack or defense is zero in face of the position, but they cannot be used to sink or tail and they're also destroyed at the end phase. So that could be good for um, XD, uh, XD summoning or um, any deck that focuses on like zero defense monsters, sort of thing like that. So zombie decks, maybe? There was many, many uses for that card. So, then some of the second. Some of the third. Ghost Tricks Jack Frost, which was the cover card for the calendar, for the advent calendar. And this guy's effect is uh, cannot be normal summoned unless you control a Ghost Tricks monster once per turn. You can change this card's face down to position uh, when an opponent's monster declares a direct attack. That's pretty cool. Oh, sorry, when your opponent, opponent wants to declare a direct attack. You can change your opponent's monsters to face down defense position if you do special summon this card from your handy face down defense position. Nice, so it's kind of like a hand uh, trap as well, so you can stop your opponent attacking you directly, which is pretty nice. Nice card to have in those maybe stall decks, for example. Nice. So, some of the fourth, then another Ghost Tricks. This was Ghost Tricks Yeti. Nice, there's another Super Rare. And the effect on this one. Is that cannot be special summoned unless you control a Ghost Tricks monster. Also, Tony can change this card to face down the same position. So, in order to get it to its 2000 defense, which he has. But it's face up, you can target a Ghost Tricks monster on the field. This and this turn, it cannot be destroyed with battle or card effects. So that's pretty cool. It's um, also, so not only has it got really hard defense, and it also makes one of your other monsters immune when it is flipped face up. Which I assume it does when it's attacked face down as well. I'm not sure the ruling on that one. Okay, the 5th of December is an Ice Queen. Not the one from Frozen. Uh, Factors cannot special summon from the graveyard when this card is face up. When it's face up card, you control the destroying set to the graveyard, you can target it. Uh, one spell in your graveyard, I don't target it in her hand, and you must have three or more spell casters in the graveyard to activate and stop this effect. So this could go well in maybe a Dark Magician deck. And any other deck, of course, which uses spellcasters primarily. And then we have a Tuala Lin, Latin, even. Uh, it's for, if, if it is in your opponent's battle phase, a monster you control at the start of this battle phase was destroyed. All monsters you control at the start of the battle phase, uh, at least two, have now been destroyed in the center of the garbage and special summon this card from your hand. That is a really complicated summoning condition. <laughs> If someone this way, choose an attribute, and if you do destroy or face a monster with the attribute, that is pretty good. Your player could up normal summon or special summon monsters with that attribute. That's pretty cool if they're using a deck with a single attribute in it. And you say, basically, you have got to clear your board, and then you can get this out in the battle phase, which is pretty cool. Now we have a firecracker. That one there. This effect is a quick effect, and you can discard this card if it's fast damage to your opponent if you do skip the next draw phase. Quite a big downside for that one. Unless you can, of course, win the all of that move. 
You can only effect once per turn. Each time your opponent uh, takes effect damage, place one counter on this card. Once per turn during the end phase, remove all counters from this card that were placed by this effect and inflict 300 damage to your opponent for each. So it's not too bad if you've got a good burn deck which can protect it well. Other than that, it's a, it might be a bit of a veil. Okay, Next one, what are we up to? Set number eight, we have Snow Eats Domanita. That's an evil looking snowman. And if it's got a face up, toggle a monster on you on, on the field and destroy it. Of course, this has got to be flipped. It's got to flip effect, but it doesn't say it's flip effect. So, hmm, I'm not so sure about that one. And next, we have a Wind Rabbit, which is a pretty good card. Oops. Fail. Oh dear. Butter fingers. So one rabbit and this is a quick effect, target one wind up monster you control, uh, banish it until the next your next standby phase. In fact never use once per, while this card is switched on the field. So when it is so once you've got this on the field you can banish one of your more so if you have a more powerful wind up monster which is gonna be destroyed. Um, and it protects it from the effect for example, so it's a pretty nice way of protecting your monsters. I have a mystical fairy El Fury. And this one is once per turn you can reveal one monster in your hand until the end of your pet's next turn, neither pet can XD summon using monsters with different level from the reveal the monster as an XD material. Right, so that basically just stops XD's uh, decks if they haven't got the right level. Which isn't too bad. Got number eight, number eighty-two Heartland Draco. Not that, but good of a card, in my opinion. Nick shot a face of spell. You can, your opponent cannot target this card for attack. So I'm you to attach one material. This card can attack your opponent directly, but other monsters can attack. So it's not too bad, but you know, it's uh, it could be a bit of useful in certain decks. Of course, you get Santa Claus <laughs> as well. Which is pretty cool. So I summon this card to the, from your hand to the field in defense position repeating one monster that they control uh, to your opponent's field, sorry. Summon this way during the end phase of this turn you draw one card. So you give your, monster, your opponent a quite powerful defense monster, but of course if you've got a way of maybe getting rid of its defense or something like that, it's, a, it's an equals out. So you can get rid of that that you don't need. But, mm. So we've got a Sacred Phoenix of Nephrim first. Open fees. I want to turn during your next standby phase after this card is destroyed by card of exit. Do we have a special summon this card from the graveyard? If you do, destroy spawn trap cards. Nice. That's not a bad card, certainly isn't. So we got a cock cockadoodle doo. It's a tuner. If, no, if you have no monsters on the field, you can special summon this card from your hand as a level 3. If your opponent controls a monster you can tr and you control no card, you can special summon this monster as a level 4. If this face of card will leave the field, banish it instead. So you can basically change its level pretty easily on that one. You have a token festival. So when a token is special summon destroys as many tokens on the field as possible, if you do fix 300 damage to each token destroyed. Pretty straightforward that one. Gift exchange. Which is both players banish one card from the decks face down, and if they do during the end phase of this turn, both players add to their hands the card their opponent banished. So you, you could, uh, you got to be really careful with this one. Hope you guess. So your opponent's obviously going to put that something useless. So you've got to turn and hope that it could be some advantage to you. So it's a bit and a good early game card. Low fire bottom. So once we take a tribute one, face up plant monsters, so summon a plant monster from your deck. Pretty straightforward. Now we're getting into the ultra rares. The first one being Hoshini, Hush, I can't say it, Hoshinijin. All I want to get 500 attack and all dark will lose 400. Not too bad. And we have a uh, Valera Fawn, Mystical Piece of the Forest. Uh, this, you can discard uh, one card, target one level two or lower beast in your graveyard, accept this card, such when it tap position or face down defense position. You can only use effect once per turn. So it's good to getting out that other mystical beast, basically, essentially. Then we have a toy magician. 
don't think someone may have you can set this card from your hand into your spell and track card's own during the end phase of this sorry if the set card in your spell and track card zone was destroyed and set to the graveyard uh, slash summon this card if his uh, card is flipped summoned destroy your spell and track cards in the field equal to the number of tall magicians so it could be useful in certain situations depending on what is needed do we have a number 41 uh, ba Bagu Scar the Terribly Tired Tapir. And it's two level fours, and once per turn during your standby, detach a material. If you cannot destroy this card, uh, this card cannot cannot destroy opponent's card effects. Tap position. Your opponent cannot target this tap position card with effects either. While this card is face up, um, defense position change all monsters on the field to defense position. Or instigate the activated activated effects of monsters. Um, that were in defense position when the effect was activated. So it's good to start your pen if you've got a lot of defense positions. Now we're getting into the probably the best three cards that came with this the 22nd, 23rd, and 24th. So 22nd got us Ghost Reaper and Winter Cherries, which is an amazing card to get. And it is if your opponent controls more monsters than you do, quick effect. You can discard this card via one card from your extra deck, then look at your opponent's extra deck and also banish all cards in the extra deck with the same name as your revealed card. So if you know you're playing a mirror match or know they're going to have a certain one, you can basically go in. It can be very useful. Then we have Hey True Need, <laughs> which is a cool ghoul card, which is return all set spell traps on the field to their hand. Which is uh, not bad at all. And on the 24th we got O Token Bomb as our final card. Which was tribute two more tokens to the same level and target monster you grill with that level up to number tribute tokens tributed. Such as some of them but their effects negated and destroyed at the end phase. Not too bad. Overall pretty good wide selection of cards. Um, definitely worth uh, the one you paid for this one. Of course you did it if you did it every day. I did open these every day so of course I knew uh, what was coming but uh, it's still uh, really good, would highly recommend it, even now picking one up. So, uh, yeah, brilliant. Okay, if you enjoyed, don't forget to push the like button, leave a comment down below, of course, from this channel, from my Twitter link down below, as always. And I'm going to say thank you so much for watching. I've been XLKX, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot.